Welcome guys to the initial training at body time. In this course, we're going to cover first thing, how to prepare the electric rails, how to make them wet, how to put them on the client on the body, how to start the device, how to uh, set up the intensity right, and how to do the basic exercises, 18 exercises correct, and how to correct the client, and how to put him always in the right position, breathe in, breathe out, look straight forward, and all the stuff. So let's get started. And first thing we do is with the electrodes, we're going to show you here how you put them on the work station. This table, it's called the work station. And for this part, I have my assistant here, Alex. Let's start using, uh, making the electrodes wet. For that, you use roof bottles. Pump them with some pressure. Okay, and you use always two. And now we're gonna make just one electrode wet. Give it here, that's fine, that is with intention. I prefer to put the electrodes here. Why? Because to not make the full table wet. So that's the purpose why I put the electrodes on the west. So if I put them here, I will make a bigger surface of my table wet. So I will have everything here in the area where I need to make them wet. You start always with two bottles. That's faster to save time to make them wet. Okay, and very important, if you have new electrodes like here now, make them two or three times wet until, stop, stop now, until you see a layer of water, you know. Let it go inside and repeat it again and do it twice. So that's how you make the electrodes wet. It's fine, it's just for training purpose, just to show how it works. And um, now we go to the next part. We're gonna start with the initial training. And I'm gonna explain also how to put the electrodes right on the right position. For that, you need to understand the following thing. The West is quite simple. You just fit the West on the client's body. You're gonna close that hooks here. This is the new West. They have some hooks. You close them and close the zipper. But for this part is also very easy. You just put it on the bottom and close it. And I want to explain a little bit more in detail now for the eye body straps because that's where you can make some mistakes and the client didn't feel it very well. So you have to keep in mind when you put it direct on the client, for example, at the leg. So if you start putting it here, don't move it because it's going to make the connection with the water already here. It get dry. If you remove it, re relocate it, the connection will be not strong enough. So that's why take care that you make them properly wet. That's number one. So number one, make them properly wet. Otherwise, the impulse will not work and you will not feel the impulse properly. Number two, put the electrodes on the right position and always with this bottom for the connection this will be always like in the front okay and this electrode you're gonna put in the middle of course with the underwear what you're gonna wear and at the arms it will be also put it down go down with the arm it will be like that so that you have the bottom exactly over the biceps here okay the connection for the cable so this is the first thing what you have to keep in mind and now let's go ahead and start doing the basic exercises, starting the device and explain you some details there. Okay guys, so let's continue with the initial training and how to start the device from the back side. You start the device from here and Alex is going to be my client now. And before I start everything, the first thing is I explain the client the following thing. Come near that you hear me better. I'm going to explain to the client that the basic position, how it works, stay in this position, Alex. Exactly. Like that. So this is our position. And um, you advise him, you stay all the time in this position and look straight forward. Okay. Chest out, back straight, bend your knees and keep all your muscles engaged, the full body engaged. That's how it works. Number two, during, when we start the workout, 
I explain him before, not during the 20 minutes workout, for the first time only. We explain him the training, it's gonna be 20 minutes. Four seconds, impulse, where you will feel all your muscles engaged, followed by a four seconds break, where you feel nothing. Four seconds impulse, you stay in the basic position and squeeze all our muscles. When the impulse stops, you stay relaxed. Impulse is coming, again, in the basic position. Always when the impulse is coming, we stay in the basic position. Never use words like electricity, electroshocks or stuff. We are using electric impulses. It's a bipolar electric impulse. It's really safe, but body time always safety first. And it's the same impulse what our brains sends to our muscles to contract them during our day-to-day -day life. Okay. So we will explain the client basic position like that. Four seconds engage your muscles and relax. He will see during the workout like at a traffic light. A red color, what means same as at the traffic light, stop. Don't do anything. Then it becomes yellow in the last one third part, so in the last 30% of the line it becomes yellow. That is same like at the traffic light, prepare, it's gonna switch to green then when it switch over to green that's the impulse time four seconds and you stay engaged always in the basic position until we start with the first and second and third exercise the first thing is you introduce the client to that attendance to basic position followed by pause relax basic position pause relax basic position pause relax you need to understood to communicate with the device during your initial training, because you cannot do EMS more than once a week, it's a very intense 20 minutes workout, you're gonna do it without electrodes, like just like right now, okay? And now I'm gonna start the device. Programs. Sports performance program three, and we start the device. Twenty minutes, and here we go. It starts with red, yellow, and green. So he will stay in a basic position like this. Now he feels nothing. The main level we're gonna increase to sixty-five. That's always the same. It's a standard. The main level increase all the muscles, all the levels from one to eight or decrease them. So now you will stay just in the basic position. Okay. And when I increase one of the buttons, of course, just when he has the electrodes on his body, he will feel the intensity and you do it just in the green impulse stage, not in the break stage. Okay. Always during the impulse that he feel it. So you will stay just in the basic position, you don't use the legs and stuff, just stay in the basic position as a client and then you increase for the legs and this is the most important part guys. Not until he say, do you increase, it's fine, yes, it's good. No, you increase and he say, oh, oh, yes, yes, good, good. No pain, no gain. The client is not aware about what happens and he think if he feel a kindling in his body, it's fine. No, it's not fine. The client will go out, he feel nothing and you lose him, you'll not come back. That's why, increase it, that his muscles is working properly. Never ever somebody pass away from EMS workouts, so it's not dangerous, but go to his limit what he can support, because during the first five minutes he get used to that, and you can increase even more. But you need to be aware about this simple point. Increase every single muscle part, one by one during the impulse time, to the maximum what he can feel and that's you start with the legs followed by the bottom the number three lower back the number four upper back the number five the latissimus left right side number six the abdominal number seven as you see here on the device on the bottoms is the chest and number eight last but not least the arms <clears throat> you're gonna increase all this to a maximum level what he support and later on if it's too much you can decrease from the main level or increase or decrease particular muscle groups depends on the client's needs but you need to focus always on him and to see and to understood and double check 
if he's feeling in every single muscle group everything properly otherwise we're losing time and money and the client so this is the most important part making the electrodes wet properly put them on the right side on his body and set up the impulses right that he feel a very strong and professional workout then for the initial training we're going to do following thing we use the device working during this 20 minutes and we do the exercises one by one from our basic exercise list okay as i display in this video here on the corner okay so um this exercise list we're going to follow up with all these exercises and now we start with exercise number one okay number one is the basic position that looks like that first of all tell him chest out back straight but this he did already because we make the setup but now we're going to exercise the basic uh, exercises basic position stay like that during the impulse now it's yellow now it's the impulse time he stayed contracted and relax now it's red it becomes yellow and green go okay relax yellow and green go i'm gonna take the camera and show you all this from near that you see more about this how it looks in action so here you see now it's red yellow green and watch it alex how he do it he stay relaxed it's red becomes yellow green and go so this is how we do it over and over again during all the 20 minutes exercising okay so after the basic position then you're going to explain him the first exercise alex you as a trainer you need to know the exercises what's the next exercise side hip left and side hip right okay for the side hip hips left and right you put your arms on the device both of them and you do it from here side hip left and side hip right okay i go down that you see better how he is doing that okay repeat it and you correct the client like push it more up more up more up more up i will go on the other side that you can see it better okay and more up more up more up like this okay go up again the same side and go up go up like this and the next thing what's very important all the time during the workout you need to put the client stay straight look forward and breathe in breathe out you're gonna breathe in before the impulse is coming and when the impulse is coming breathe out okay breathe in before the impulse is coming in the time where it's yellow get prepared and breathe out during the green impulse time okay like that chest out back straight hold your arms like that and exactly okay the third exercise gonna be plank press and chest great okay let's do that okay for that you come from this position now he was making the first mistake put your arms up again and go down now it becomes better okay again here you correct the client that he stayed with his arms parallel fists also parallel and now when he go down like that okay and going back again in this position and going down like that and go down and squeeze your chest muscles as much as you can during the impulse time okay let's repeat it two times and correct the client always to stay straight look straight forward breathe in breathe out bend your knees don't go with your knees behind your toes also very important don't go with the knees behind your toes okay let's go ahead test number four it's the chest press yes. Okay, show us please, Alex. Okay, here I like that you go with your arms more down. The best thing is to exercise this in front of a mirror 
then you're gonna see yourself in the mirror, how it looks like, and exercise this every day until it becomes a routine. Okay, that's it. Look straight forward, and for the client, put him straight, like this. Very important is that you, all the time, during the workout, you're gonna correct the client to do all the exercises properly. This is so important. Okay, one more. Great. Okay, let's go to exercise number five. Exercise number five is? Ski jumping. Ski jumping. Okay. Let's get started. Go into position. Look straight forward. Chest out. Back straight. That's how it has to be. Okay. Always put the client in the right position. Straight. Look forward. Okay. And go back to the ski jumping position. Here you need to do one thing. His palms because most of the time you're gonna hold his arms like this. Straight to the body, palms up, okay? And put him up and squeeze as much as you can to feel your triceps. That's how you do it, that's how you correct it. Knees behind your toes, bend your knees and all the muscles engaged. Okay, let's do it one time more. Straight forward looking, correct him, back straight. And always during the workout, Correct the client, correct the client, and from time to time, come on, power. You have to be motivated, you have to force him to do it straight and right and powerful. Come on, come on, one more. Squeeze as much as you can. One more, come on. Okay guys, so this is how you correct the client. All the time you watch him and you are around the client that he feels, you care about him, you correct him, and he's doing the training with the support of his personal trainer. Okay, let's go ahead with next exercise. Next exercise gonna be number lat, six. Lat down. Lat down. Okay, let's do the lat down. Great. That's it. Always the same. Bend your knees. Knees behind your toes. Okay. Straight forward looking. Chest out. Back straight. And here you correct him like this. You go behind the client like this and you put his arms more down like here. Come on, go up again. And you need to think you have a bar in your arms and you have the bar behind your neck. So pull it down, bar behind your neck and here down with the arms. Exactly, that's the move. So that was exercise number Seven. Six yeah, or seven. seven, okay. Seven. You can see it in the chart above, it's mentioned. So just follow up with the exercises one by one. We go to exercise number eight. Okay, guys, exercise number eight. Rowing, bend over. Rowing, bend over. Okay, Alex, please show us how to do, but I'm gonna correct you. Look straight forward, back straight, chest out, and that's it. So let's see exactly what he's doing okay what we're gonna correct here is first part as you see is his fist is too down it has to be more up like here so go front do it again and go down like this okay again back straight 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 don't go with your back front just with the arms like this and elbows near your body, okay? Come on. This is what you correct him to be with the elbows near the body. So it gonna looks like this near the body, okay? You go straight forward and near the body. From the profile, it gonna looks like this straight forward and near the body, like this. Let's see it from here. So chest. Out, back straight, arms to the front, and here. Okay, and you rotate your fists up. You start from this position with the fist in the front, and you rotate up. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, you're gonna correct him, elbows near the body. And one more, look straight forward. Breathe in, 
revolt. Great. That's it. Okay. Next exercise, number nine, is the uh, basic crunches. Basic crunches. Alex, show us. And all the time during this initial training, because now the device stops, we start the device and let it work because we need to do it in the same time during the device is working. So during the break time, break, and during the impulse time, we do the exercise and we follow the device, we follow the electrodes that we get into the rhythm and in the routine of exercising. Okay, this is called? Uh, basic crunches. Basic crunches, okay. For the basic crunches, put your fist here on your forehead and push down your elbows into your stomach up to your abdominal okay okay one more okay stay straight and go down okay always correct the client to stay straight okay stay straight chest out back straight put your fist here in the front and go down Okay, great, that's it. So guys, the next exercise, exercise number 10 is knee up. Alex gonna show us, I gonna correct him. Yes, I gonna correct the client. Okay, show us please. One hand on the device, exactly. And the right arm on the left knee, and then reverse, but we finish one side, and then the other side. So right on the left, and always push your elbow on your knee. Exactly, that's it. Hand up like this and great. So the next thing you need to correct is when he goes with his leg up, it has to be parallel like this. Okay, you correct his leg, his feet. One more, the feet have to be parallel like this. Okay, one more. That's it, that was the number 10, knee up. And then we make the other side. Okay guys, the next exercise is basic biceps. It's number 11 and number 12 will be basic high. For the basic biceps, it gonna look like this. You stay with your arms down, like this bend your knees and you go up from here up to this position and go down your fists are parallel showing to the front and go up squeeze as much as you can hold it for seconds and go down and number 12 basic high gonna be the same like here just that you go from here more with your fist back to your ears okay and then going down and lift it up going up Second step, back and down. Okay, so Alex, so show us, I'm gonna correct it. First, stay straight, chest out, back straight, look straight forward, always the same, and breathe in, breathe out. That's the number, 11, right? Okay, one more, bend your knees, you have to check always that the client bent his knees, okay? And all the body is engaged. And then you correct him. Back straight, look in the front. Okay, and we go to the exercise number 12. So we go down now. And the same thing going up. And like this, exactly. One and two. Too much. You go up to the ears. Okay, you're gonna correct him. Okay, that's the move. That's the right move. Okay, don't go front like this, like this, and now you go up. So don't let him move during the basic biceps to go up. Okay, so he lift just like here, and then going up like that, going back here, and remove the arm like this. You can keep him here because the client he looks always to go front like this. It's not like. 
you stay with your arm straight, just this, this move, and going up. Okay, one more. Okay guys, that was exercise number 12. We have six more and then we are done. Exercise number 13 is um, squats. Squats. The squats. basic squats, right? Okay, for the basic squat, Alex show us and I'm gonna correct him. There is two options. You can do it like this, but if you do it like this, reduce the intensity on button number eight for the arms that he feel comfortable with his fingers because if you have full power on the arms, it's gonna move his fingers from the impulse from alone. So if you have, for myself, I like to have every high intensity. That's why I'm doing that with my fist like that. And you can do it like this in this basic position that you go down like this, or you can put it like this and go down like this. Okay. Otherwise lower intensity on the, on the arms, on the level eight and go down like this. <clears throat> okay, let's do it and I correct. Look straight forward, perfect. Okay, so I go down with him and I'm going to show you how you correct him on his legs. We go down and here's important to explain in the knees, always behind the toes and he push through his heels. That's very important, the knees behind his toes and push through the heels. That's so important guys. Okay, one more. Okay guys, that was exercise number 13. So guys, exercise number 14, the last five exercises, is the lunge. And for the lunge, we have to correct a lot and it depends on the client's mobility. If he cannot do it properly because he is overrated or old or stuff, he can put his hands on the device to hold it here and go just down like this a little. So he's gonna go down only little, for example if he's old and fat and not flexible like this if you can do it properly then it's gonna look like that you stay in the basic position like this or like this or you can do it also like this but i prefer the basic position is more at once and you go down with your knee up to the floor but don't touch the floor a little bit before and look straight forward and going back and more advanced um, solution will be that in the same time, when you go down, you make the biceps curl. You go down and lift your biceps in the same time like this. Engage and go back. And again, you do it on the first, on the right side, then on the left side and reverse. Now Alex is going to do it and I'm going to correct him. Let's see. Okay, one more. That's it. Knee behind your toes. So if it's not behind your toes, you go with the feet more in the front. And don't put your knee on the floor. You stop one centimeter before. Okay, one more. That's it. Okay, all the time you correct him, you put him to stay straight, look straight forward, and that's it. Okay, guys, we are almost done of this part of the initial training. Now it's coming exercise number 15. Alex, exercise number 15. Uh, leg uh, stretch. Leg stretch. And number 16 is leg bend. 15, 16, 17, 18. This is the last four exercises, and then we are done. Okay. Come in front of the device. For this one, you can hold your hands on the device, both of your hands, and stay straight forward, look forward, stay straight, chest out, back straight, look forward. Always the same thing, you control him. Always look forward, chest out, back straight. I repeat it because it's so important. Over and over again, do it with the client. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I come here on this side, let me see exactly what we need to correct. Okay, go down. So as you see here, you stay in this position. You start from here and go back like, come on, like this, okay? So here, 
leg up like this and go back. In the front, his leg in this position and go back in this position. So that's it, quite simple, but very efficient. This is an exercise what the ladies love, but also for women very important because when it comes about EMS training, it's so important that you understood one thing, you need to train all your muscles, all your 650 muscles, what you are doing here, because activating all your 650 muscles, you train them to grow, you transform your body in a 24 seven fat burning machine because your muscles burn fat all the day long for one week in the first day most, and then less. But that's how EMS works, and that's why we need to activate all of the muscles. We cannot say, oh, I don't need the breast, the chest, or uh, I don't need legs so much, or arms, or however. All the muscles we need, that we are in balance, and we get the most out of activating all the muscles for burning fat. If you go for running or cardio, you just burn some calories. Here we prepare your body, and transform in a 24 7 fat burning machine with 20 minutes once a week and that's why it's so amazing EMS workouts okay let's go ahead to exercise number 16 leg uh, bend leg bend it's quite similar it's the same thing but it's reverse okay so we start from this position it's the same okay Okay, okay guys, so we go over to exercise number 16, it's called leg bend. leg bend. So this is quite similar, the first part what we was doing before in exercise number 15 called leg stretch. stretch, it's like you start from this position and go in the front, okay, and focus on your by, uh, leg triceps, now we focus on the biceps and that's why from this position we go back. That's the opposite part, the biceps of your leg. Okay, Alex, let's start. Let's show, show again exercise number 15 from the start position that we understood exactly the, we start from this position and go front like this. Let me put the camera on you to see it exactly. Okay, so on what we focus here is as you see, we start from this position for exercise number 15 and stretch the leg in the front and keep it engaged like that. Okay, let's do it one time more. We're going back and stretching in the front. Okay, and exercise number 16 is reverse. You start from this position and goes back. I explain it again because before we was explaining it a little bit wrong in the first part. Of, uh, because we are quite tired, we was training all the day and we're doing a small mistake, we was starting from um, this position and go back, so we have to start from the back and go in the front, so now we do the leg, what's it called? Leg bend. Leg bend and we bend the leg backwards, like this, exactly, okay, always the same thing, he gonna stay in front of the device, look straight forward, Back straight, chest out. Okay, do it again. That's it. Okay, guys, exercise number 17. We have last two exercises. Number 17 is core rotation. For the core rotation, it's a very simple exercise, very effective, but you have to understand one thing, that you hold your arms like this, 90 degree angle, parallel, and then you move to the left, and later on to the right, so first start with the left, and you are not allowed to move your base. Okay, so watch me here, one second. You stay like this, and you see my base will not move. I move just my core here, that's why it's called core rotation, and my head looks straight forward. So that means I rotate like this, like a robot. To make it more clear, you can hold your head like this. I'm not allowed to move my head, and you rotate. You have to feel stretch here on your side abs, okay? This is the position, that's why we don't hold the arms here, because it makes it more difficult like this. And we rotate, that's the move. Like this, and then like this. Always the same thing, chest out, 
back straight, look straight forward. So important and focus on the exercise that you're doing properly. You don't move even your legs, they stay all the time in the same time, the same position. And from the basic position here, you rotate your core only, that you feel stretch on your side hips. Okay, Alex, you do it, I correct you. Make it like this. You put him in the parallel position because the client will do it wrong 100% if he's not an athlete. And rotate your core. Exactly, that's the move, you see? You want to look straight forward, everything is parallel, 90 degree angle, and come back. Okay, one more. That's the move. Okay, now we do it two in the next, in the other side. Rotate in this side. That's it. That's the right move. One more now. You don't focus anymore. Like this. Come on. That's it. Okay, guys. Last but not least, last exercise is shoulder press. Shoulder press. Great. For the shoulder press, let me explain one thing, Alex. It's a following thing. Depends on the mobility. All people that are not able to put their hands here and move up. Okay? So that's why in the chart of our exercise you see it starting here, right? Yes. So you go out, it's like a from here like a reverse butterfly, and you push up. Okay, so you can make different variations. You can go out here and push up. Chest out, back straight. Okay, and this depends on the mobility. If somebody don't have the mobility, he can start here and do it like this. Okay, his mobility will increase from session to session. If he can do it more down, he start from down and push up. Okay, watch me. I go down here, squeeze my muscles in the back and go up and squeeze my shoulder muscles to the max. And together with the impulse, we get amazing results. Okay, Alex, you want to do it? I'm going to correct you. Always the same. Bend your knees, knees behind your toes, look straight forward, chest out, back straight, breathe in, breathe out. That's what you need and focus on the exercise. When the impulse is coming, open and push. Hold it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and going back in the basic position. Wait for the signal, it's coming yellow, prepare and go. Open, push it, hold it and go back. And this we're gonna do fluent. So that means one, two, three, go, open. Push, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, coming back, this. All the time, I put him straight, look forward, knees behind your toes, bend your knees, engage all your muscles, and that's it. Alex, thank you.